Good day EOS community, Ross here from EOSphere and I want to take you through a two-part video series on how to use Cleos and interact with the EOS blockchain. Um, obviously Cleos is a command line interface so we'll be doing it through Ubuntu. Uh, in this first part we are going to install the software, compile it for our uh, PC or server and we're going to create a wallet and import our keys. So before we get going with that I just want to show you how it all comes together. If you go to the developers.eos.io website and just click on Nodeus, they've got a handy diagram here that shows you of the three main components. On the right here, you can see Nodeus. Nodeus is the daemon that all of the block producers and full nodes run. It's essentially the daemon that runs the blockchain. We use Kiosk D on our local machine to store our wallets. And inside each of the wallets, we will have an, our account keys. Uh, that bind through to the accounts that are on the blockchain. And then we use Cleos, which is command line plus EOS equals Cleos. We use that to directly interact with the blockchain and using the information inside of our wallets as our authority source. So let's go ahead and uh, actually um, compile, download and compile the EOS software. So at the moment, we're going to use uh, the EOS mainnet. EOS mainnet is the current EOS blockchain that's running um, and we're going to just go through to their GitHub site and what we're going to do is we are going to clone the actual EOS directory. So go through to your root of your home and you do a, a git clone and just grab it and now when you press enter it will clone into a directory called EOS. Right. Now I've already done that just to make it a bit a little bit faster but we're still going to go ahead and try and compile I'll show you. The next thing we want to do is check out the appropriate version. Now uh, there, there are multiple versions available and at the moment if you click on releases you can see the latest one is mainnet-1.0.8 so we're going to do a git checkout mainnet 1.0.8 and then we need to ensure that we do a recursive update of all of the other repositories. All right, and I'll put these commands into the description for you. All right, then they've got a very convenient script that we can run that will install all the dependencies and compile and compile the software for our server or our PC. Really, really fast on mine because I have already compiled it, um, but it could take up to an hour depending on what your system looks like. Then we want to do um, a make install in the build directory and you have to run it as a super user or super user do and what this is going to do is it's going to um, install all the applications into the appropriate user, user directories and folders so we don't have to go into the build directory in order to run anything all right now we have the software running with all of the features so we'll have uh, Clios, Nodeus, KOSD, everything um, available for us to use and what we want to do now is actually create a wallet. So we're going to go back to the root of our home directory. And the first thing we need to do, like we said here in the overview, is we need to run kiosd, this daemon, and that's going to hold all our wallets. So I'm going to just run it with an ampersand so it runs in the background. So now that service is actually running. Now we're going to create a wallet. And the command for that is kios wallet. Create. And if you don't specify a wallet, it'll automatically make a default wallet. But we're going to call this one test wallet so we can differentiate. Now see how it gives me a password. Keep this safe because this is the password for the wallet on the local machine. So I'm just going to copy that and keep it, keep it safe. And now we can actually look and see if we did a Clios wallet list. We're about to see that we only have one wallet configured on this on this server and there's a little asterisk there saying that the wallet is unlocked. Um, the wallet's going to automatically lock after 15 minutes by default but you can actually change this inside the config.ini and that is stored in the EOSIO wallet directory and you can see there's the config.ini and by default it'll be 900 um, seconds which is 15 minutes you can see that I've got it set to um, 3600 which is an hour just for uh, your informational purposes you don't have to change it at all 
All right. Now that we've got a test wallet and we know that the wallet is um, unlocked. Wait, right, let me just show you how you unlock it. So it'll be clear wallet unlock and then you would have to specify the wallet that you want it to unlock. And let me just grab that password and it's going to say that it's already unlocked. I just wanted to show you the command. So it's already unlocked. So that's great. Now we've got a wallet. It's a blank wallet. It's got, it's got no keys inside of it. So what we need to do is actually import a private key, a private key um, uh, that, that from the, the EOS mainnet and that is already on the blockchain that we can interact with, right? So I happen to have a little test one here. Remember, this is your private key and the command to import the key would be clear wallet, oop, not clear, not clear, clear wallet import and it's going to begin imported into the test wallet and the private key. Oop. And just make sure you get your syntax correct. <laughs> and now that private key has been imported into that wallet, ready for us to run some Klaus commands on the blockchain um, using that information as an authority. Uh, part two will go through some more of the, um, the actual commands and and, um, and how to get best use of interacting with the blockchain. Thanks.